Change it up from last year. I got the little tie downs, the little D rings. So I got everything tied down. Well, we gotta. Oh yeah, strap we got on our jammy pack. Here. Oh boy, we got to do that. It's kind of tough to do. You have to like pull straight and then. There you go. Gotta learn somehow. She oh, got it. Bad at all. I was all. all right. And then you want to put that one or no? Probably a good idea. Just for oh, the Oh, this is all filled too, by the way. This is filled with our groceries. Yep. And a little vodka in the freezer. Oh boy. <laughs> we're running the 12 volt fridge right now because we unhooked. So we're pulling eight amps and uh, we gotta keep the stuff cold. So once we get to the spot, we'll, we're gonna, the campsite has a hookup plug in. So should we hit the road? I think so, let's do it. Dancing. You think it'll work? Truck rocking? It's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. Can't go anywhere without rolling a 35 out of the truck. Just for the hell of it. Just flap it right down. Right there? Yep. Alright, last time we went camping. Put that out there. Little finishing touches. It's already starting to look like a proper campsite. I'm just getting the jacks set up. This isn't necessary. You don't need to do this. But I get seasick. I'm the problem. She's not the problem. So I make. I do all this extra work to stabilize it. I kind of like it because I get a nice view of the kitchen. And our nice little dinette area. You get the, the full view. With the new carpeted yep. seat. We left seven hours ago and the fridge has been on 12 volts since then. And the voltage of the batteries is 12.5. It says that the batteries will last another 22 hours at this amp load that we're using. It says 89% charge and 63 and a half amp hours have been depleted from the battery bank and it's pulling, well, we have a couple of lights on but and the fan on, but it's pulling 120 watts, 10 amps. So we just plugged in, letting the uh, surge protector do its delayed thing to test the voltage and make sure everything's okay. And then once that um, works out, it should flip over and start charging once, I, once it works. And then we can change this to 110 and uh, the fridge will be, we'll just be pulling power from the, just flipped. So there you go. So we're getting 125 volts, zero amps. Let's turn on the inverter slash charger. Should start pulling. There it goes. 63 amps. Going into the batteries, 11 amps coming out of the shore power. Was there enough lighting to make a sandwich? Oh yeah. The secret to got? any good sandwich, extra mayonnaise. Oh. This is our first dinner at the campsite. All our friends have hot dogs and beans on the fire. So we're making BLTs because that's what we have to offer for ourselves. Well, it was a, a fend for yourself situation. So we pre-made bacon and we're gonna have a little BLT. Easy.
Okay, that's a that's a heavy shot. Okay. Uh, and actually, like, it's just like, there you go. yeah. Just don't We are at Raystown Lake Campground in Pennsylvania for all the people that are not from the area. And we've never been here before and it's run by the Army Corps of Engineers which is kind of neat, it's interesting. It's not an actual state park. Seven Points Campground is what it's actually called. And it's really nice, it's quiet here, it's pretty clean. Here We're on the clean. downhill side of our camping trip so that's why he's a little bummed. Mm -hmm. Because we got to start packing up and hitting the road. Yep, but well, we're going to try and do a little walk around the campground, check out the area. But yeah, we just made our nice breakfast and some coffee and everything's working. We got, oh, there, there's electric hookups here. So we're running the electric hot water heater. It all comes with it. So you don't have to really use much of your own fuels, like propane. So that's really nice in that regard. All you get, you just turn on the electric water heater and get hot water. It's Cause it's all coming from the, the wire coming in here. Setting them up and taking them down. Yep. That's what you gotta do. Well, you don't have to, but we do it. If you did it every day, it would be a, not worth it. But when you're staying for more than a night or two, I think it's nice. No more jack. Dinette all taken apart. Kitchen all cleaned up. Throw the cushions up there. Seems like the best place for them because then this is where everything gets tied down. All the heavy stuff. Right here. 